Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today is Wednesday, the 4th of November, the year 2020. And the word for today says, the power of the Holy Communion. The power of the Holy Communion. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The word for today is taken from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 26. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 26. And the Bible says, For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. A dear man of God, Pastor Dennis, then shares with us from the scripture saying, Holy Communion activates in your spirit what the Lord Jesus did for you on the cross. The more you take it, the more your spirit is reminded of the price Jesus paid for you. Hallelujah. By partaking of it, we testify that Jesus' body was broken for us, and we therefore proclaim the death of Christ. Hallelujah. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 24 through 25, the Bible says, And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do... As often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Hallelujah. A precious man of God, Pastor Dennis, in his concluding remarks for the word for today, has this to say to you. Keep taking the body and blood of Jesus until it permanently enters the consciousness of your spirit that Jesus Christ did for you all that you've ever needed. Instead of always filling your body with medicine, fill your body with Holy Communion and you will receive your healing. The more you commune with the Lord, the healthier you become. Hallelujah. Glory to God. A meditation scripture for today is taken from the book of Mark chapter 14 verses 22 to 26. The book of Mark chapter 14 verses 22 to 26. And the Bible says, and as they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to them and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank from it. And he said to them, This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many. Assuredly, I say to you, I will no longer drink of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Hallelujah. Let's turn to our prophetic declaration for today. And I'd like to give you a special reminder that as part of our one-year Bible reading plan, today we are reading the book of Isaiah, chapters 7 through 8, and the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 4. Lift up your holy hands and say these words after me. Dear Father, I thank you for the body of Jesus that was broken for me, and his blood that was shed for the remission of my sins. Now my body will never again be broken. And sin will never have dominion over me. He was wounded for my transgressions. And bruised for my iniquities. The punishment for my sins was laid upon him. And by his stripes, I was healed. Thank you, Father. For the divine life I have in Christ. I walk conscious of it every day. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let's proceed to speak in other tongues as we meditate on these words. Lekete kele bradiga ratosa ugra le bredia sule paradeus jakata kalabos okrelo sate rigato radia zusele pradiga jante karabarados okralo sate rikato rabladiga rigito le bosate karusa lo pradiga in Jesus name shout amen